a rolling cosmic style. Universe. All right, so pranayama. I always begin my classes. We're going to go over just a few fundamentals that I do every time I come to yoga, and then I'm going to get into just, just some uh, uh, specific stuff that, that I'll just do each time. So everyone stand together with your feet together. So like an animal, when they sleep, they, they curl up their, uh, their limbs. So when you bring your feet together, anytime you're low energy, just put your hands over your belly and tuck in your tailbone and tighten your, your butt a little bit. That's your root chakra. And a lot of our energy leaks out from there, from loose anus and sex organs. So just tighten your rectal muscle, cover your belly. So like an animal, all of our limbs are together. And you can keep a lot of energy. Anytime you're low energy, you're in an airport, you're traveling something, you're low energy, bring your feet together like this and breathe from your belly. When you breathe, you can see my belly from the side, it's going to expand like a balloon. And then when you exhale, it flattens. Okay, most of us breathe from our upper chest, you don't get a full breath. Do that again, breathe from your belly, deep breath. Your belly expands in all directions, like a balloon expanding in all directions, then it flattens. So all of our breathing should be like this. One more time, deep belly breath. We call this regular belly breathing. Belly expands as you inhale and it flattens as you exhale. And just this alone, each thing we do, just if it resonates with your body, remember you can do by itself. Just this, hanging out, belly breathing with your feet together, tailbone tucked in, is a great way to charge up your body, okay? But we're gonna do the supercharged version of it, pranayama. It means breath control. Exhale all your air through your mouth. Close your right nostril. And we're gonna do a gentle belly, a bellows breath through our left nose. So keep going as I talk. You're just at, focusing on the exhale and you're breathing through your left nostril only. This charges up the left side of your body and your right brain. So the right nose is blocked, we're breathing through the left nostril only. There you go. Just for about 30 seconds, again, focus on the exhale, the body naturally inhales what it needs. Then through the left nose, exhale all the way. Keep the seal, and then through the left nose only, deep belly breath and hold. And hold your breath, gently tighten your rectal muscle and tuck in your neck, and feel your feet on the ground. If you get dizzy, bring your head below your feet like that. There's a lot of chi with this kind of breathe, breath work, but it's really powerful, you get a lot done quickly, okay? Whenever you're ready to exhale, just relax and exhale. So that's left nostril breathing, balances the left side of the body, the right brain. We're gonna do the same thing on the right nose, balances the right side of the body, the left brain. Exhale through your mouth again, tighten your rectal muscle. Close your left nose, breath of fire through the right nose. Focusing on the exhale, body naturally inhales. Right nose only, exhale all the way. Hold the breath out just a moment. And through the right nose only, take a deep belly breath and hold. Root neck lock. That means tighten your root, your, your butt basically, and tuck in your neck. That holds the energy in the core, just so you can assimilate it. Don't get dizzy, feel your feet on the ground. Are you ready to exhale? Just relax and exhale. Ah, let out a side anytime, okay? That was breath of fire through both nostrils. Real quick way to charge up, all right? And now if you just have time for one, you're gonna do alternate nostril breathing. Both sides of the body and brain brings into balance. Exhale through your mouth again. I'm gonna teach you a simplified version that most people don't teach. Inhale through your left nose and all the cells on the left side of your body. Deep belly breath. And just gently hold for a moment. And then through both nostrils, exhale. Through the right nostril and all the cells on the right side of your body. Deep belly breath. And hold for a moment. Let your body assimilate. And through both nostrils, exhale. The left no nose is lunar, so feel like there's a moon on the left side of you. You're inhaling cool light through your left nose. Left side of the body, right brain. It's lunar, okay? Yin power. Through both nostrils, exhale. Feel a sun on your right. Inhale the warm light through your right nose, right side of your body. And left brain, that's the linear mind, the solar, the yang, so yin and yang, sun and moon, okay? Exhale through both nostrils. Just a 
couple more. If you just have time for one thing yoga all day, this one, okay? <laughs> Inhale, left toes. Are you okay? No, I'm digging it. You're digging it? I'm digging it. Good, I know it's concentrated, man. It's Most awesome. people don't, don't do this type of breathing. And we're all busy multitaskers, so quickly you get your yoga done. Yeah. So just a couple more. It's super cool. Yeah, and yeah. any questions, just let me know. Deep breath, left nose. And hold just a moment. That, that, hold, that space between the breaths gives your body a chance to assimilate. Deep breath and hold, exhale all the way and hold. You get a lot more chi than just ah, ah, breathing, not that space, okay? Exhale both nostrils. Hold the breath out just a moment. Slows the heart rate, slows the thought rate. Right nose, deep belly breath. And hold. And through both nostrils, exhale. One more time, each nostril. Effortless belly breath through the left nose. Cool lunar light through all the left cell, cells on the left side of the body. You're just sucking it in like silver light. Cool light. And exhale through both nostrils. And then warm solar light through the right nose, deep breath. And hold. And feel both sides of your body and brain equal and balanced in the core channel. We talk about middle way, this is how to hold middle way. Yin and yang are like cosmic opposable thumbs. You can hold the center, okay? And exhale through both nostrils. One time, one thing all day, pranayama, super advanced. It's a science of brain breathing. Now, bring your hands into prayer pose. Physically thumbs, physically touching your sternum. And again, your knees are bent, so you can tuck <clears> in your tailbone. If your butt sticks out, craniosacral system is cut off. There's a gap here. You want to tuck in that tailbone so all this core root kundalini can rise up your spine. So when you're standing, tuck in your butt and your, and your knees so you can do that. So now, just close your eyes. Breathe effortlessly from your belly. Feel your feet on the earth. And this awareness of the left and right nostril we're going to bring to our left and right eye. I'm going to teach you the most fundamental of all Taoist meditation, the inner smile. Okay? A smile has the power to direct love. And normally our attention is always outside of ourselves. We smile at others, which is great, but our energy gets lost. It's always outside. So that same healing power of the smile you can direct inside. She flows where the mind goes. And the eyes direct our senses and our mind. Okay? senses of the outer layer of our mind. So just bring your awareness to your eyes. That's where a smile begins. And if it helps you to physically smile, just raising the corners of your mouth, you can do that. But really, it's just an intention of a smile. Just feel smiling energy in your eyes. And we're going to just simply smile to our three main energy centers, our head, heart, and our belly. Okay? Those are our three main, we call cauldron, like a big pot of energy. Okay? In Taoist yoga, that's what we call the cauldron. The three cauldrons of the so bring an aware awareness of a smile to the center of your brain. Direct your left and right eye to the center of your brain. Your tongue to the roof of the mouth, by the way. Touching the whole time, physically pressing up and gently on the roof of your mouth. Effortless belly breath. And smile to the center of your brain. Inner smile, the yin and the yang of the inner smile is acceptance and appreciation. So you simply smile to the center of your brain and you accept and appreciate the type of energy that resides there. That's our thoughts. Smile to your thoughts and say to yourself, mentally, I accept and appreciate my thoughts. Positive or negative, it doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter at all. We just want the chi. So whether your thoughts are positive or negative right now, just accept them, appreciate them, and feel awareness of your left and right eye, equal and balanced. That's getting a little advanced, but just so you know, when you smile with your left and right eye, because your left and right eye connects to your left and right brain, again, sun and moon, yin and yang, it balances that yin and yang. So normally we're polarized, we're either too hot or too cold. When you smile with your left and right eye to any part of your body, it brings that yin and yang awareness. Just a little sound bite, we'll get more into that later. But right now, just accept and appreciate your thoughts. And when you feel that in your head, kind of a neutralizing of your thoughts, let them empty down to your, your middle cauldron, which is your heart center, which is behind your sternum, your heart chakra, right where your hands are. Smile with your left and right eye to the center of your heart and say to yourself mentally, I accept and appreciate my feelings. A little bit more dense than thoughts, but still very subtle. Accept and appreciate my feelings. Positive or negative doesn't matter, we just want the chi. Left and right eye equal and balanced to the center of the heart. Accept and appreciate your feelings. Now cover your belly with your hands 
and let all the energy in your head, all the energy in your heart empty into the center of your effortlessly breathing belly. This is our lower dantian. This is our physical center. Okay? We call them, in Taoist yoga, we call it Jing or Chinese medicine, which sprang from that. The three treasures, Jing, Qi, Shen, body, energy, mind. So this is our physical center. So when you smile to the center of your effortlessly breathing belly, accept and appreciate, and this is a hard one, your body. Okay? A lot of yogas, they open up the heart and the head, they don't touch the body because it's unholy or some BS. But we're in our bodies and we're on the earth, and if you don't have a powerful body, you're weak on the earth, okay? So empty all your thoughts, all your feelings to the center of your effortlessly breathing belly. Allow awareness of your left and right eye to become equal and balanced in the center of your effortlessly breathing belly. And say to yourself mentally, I accept and appreciate my body. If you knew the waiting list to get into these vehicles we call human bodies, you would have a lot more respect. So it's a very uh, auspicious moment to have this experience and I accept and appreciate my body. And then let all the energy, just to conclude, all the energy in our body, all the energy in our heart mind, our feelings, our thoughts, let it spiral into a single pearl of energy in the center of your effortlessly breathing belly, your center of gravity behind your navel where you feel the energy the strongest. Just let it collect there. We're going to be using that pearl a lot. There's a lot of different ways we can circulate our energy, but you first have to concentrate it. Like refracting sunlight through a magnifying glass, it gets really powerful. Don't leave scattered. Our thoughts are really so All your thoughts empty to your belly. Let all your feelings empty to your belly. Let all awareness of your whole body be in the center of your belly. It's in one place. This is our main power center in all yoga traditions. Okay, the Taoist yoga. They wanted to get to power. There's a difference between enlightenment and immortality. A world of difference, a universe of difference. And Taoist yoga is immortal yoga, okay? So come into a horse stance now. Just bring your feet. Um, technically, it's where you bring your knee to the ground. You don't have to do this right now. Just so you know, that's how far. But roughly, just more than shoulder width apart, okay? And same thing, you want to tuck in your tailbone. You don't want this, okay? You want to tuck in your tailbone, bend your knees a little bit. You got it, you got it. Everyone here has it. Has it. And, um, and then now start shaking. Just start shaking a little bit. Okay, we're just going to shake off any tension. You want to shake for one to three minutes every day. And um, just for a few moments, keep your inner smile going. You can close your eyes. I like to close my eyes. You'll notice as I teach, just because I want to stay connected to my body. Um, but if you're visual, you can keep looking at me or whatever. But <laughs> regardless of, of where your eyes are, okay, because eyes direct our senses, and you got to go within. Yep. Keep your inner smile going. Notice as you're shaking off any tension in your body. If you notice tension in your right toe, smile with your left and your right eye to your right toe. Why? Because that balances the yin and the yang of that tension. You can dissolve and take the energy. In Chinese medicine, there's no shortage of energy in your body, ever. Okay? There's just an imbalance. It's all here. There's not enough here. So when you dissolve it, an inner smile is a powerful tool for that. Now it's freed up for all the healing processes. So the shaking is really powerful yoga. You just shake off any tension. Just like relax. Shake it up, okay? Shake for one to three minutes every day. And if you're really, really sick, I won't use the cancer word because I'll get sued, but that level of sickness, shake for 20 minutes a day. Wow. Because it activates your lymphatic system really powerfully. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Cool. And all yoga traditions have the shaking. And a couple things you can do while you shake, bring your hands out here like you're holding a chi ball, and just left and right. Can you hear my spinal line? Did you hear that? Yeah. Use the weight of your arms. Oh, yeah to uh, open up your body. Awesome. We're not going to be standing for too long, so just so you know, we'll come to sitting and do some uh, some other material. But the shaking business, I start my day every day with this. Really good for breaking up long periods of sitting on a computer. Really powerful yoga. I think called Shakti Shake Mantra. Gives you a lot of Shakti, a lot of energy. And then back to the middle. Another one too. Take a deep breath and hold. And lean to your left. Feel your spine, your obliques, everything open up. We're going to go both sides. We usually just begin on the left side with whatever we're doing because the heart's on the left. And back to the middle. Another deep breath and hold. So every yoga strategy has th that I teach has usually anyway, regardless whether it's spoken or not. And go ahead and lean forward now. We're going to four directions, left, right, front, back. Every yoga strategy has three parts. Uh, relaxation, activation, concentration. So if you don't relax first, if you don't empty your cup, there's not any energy. There's no room to put new energy. 
Yeah. There's no room to activate, right? Uh -huh. So this is relaxation. Anywhere you notice tension on any level, not just physical. Oh, I'm emotionally tense. I'm thought space, whatever. Smile to it, left and right eye. Accept, appreciate, relax, let go. Shake it off, literally, to the pull of gravity. Feel your yeah. tension, smile to it, feel it pull. Go down to the earth as a great transformer. Mm -hmm. You put death in the earth, yep. it turns to life. You put your dead energy to the earth, it turns to life. Yep. Back up standing. And then one more direction behind, deep, deep breath, and lean back. Your hands are in your low back. See that? Uh -huh. And just lean back. So you got four directions, front, back, left, right. And back to the middle. Good. And let's just collect the energy again. Cover your belly. Shake up and down on the belly only. Mm -hmm. And drop your eyes and your mind and your heart into the nucleus of your effortlessly breathing belly. And as you vibrate up and down, feel the top and the bottom of your body equal and balanced. Feel the earth below, heaven above, equal and balanced. In the nucleus of your effortlessly breathing belly. Slowly come to stillness. You just feel that vibration continue. The whole universe is vibrating. We're vibrating with it. And when things really start to vibrate, this whole you know Earth changes, whether they happen now or later, or whatever, we're ready because that's our practice. We're literally practicing for that marathon. Mm. Okay. So just a couple more fundamentals I'll show you guys, and then we'll get into some of the more uh, kind of exotic stuff. Just tap your kidneys a little bit. Uh -huh knocking the door of life. Uh -huh. So in Chinese medicine, you probably all know this, kidneys are given equal importance to the heart. Heart governs fire, kidneys govern water, which wow. the body mostly made of, right? Right. So the kidneys get a lot of attention in Chinese medicine. That's why they wear those big belts in, in all uh -huh. Asian uh -huh. clothing, yeah. to keep the kidneys warm. Wow. So you want to tap the kidneys, smile to your kidneys. Yeah. I love my kidneys. I love my kidneys. Seriously, this is medical yoga. Yes, it is. You're just activating your organs. Uh -huh. And this is how they respond. Yeah. You know, just give them their, your attention, inner smile to your kidneys. Yeah. And the door of life, by the way, is the point of the spine directly opposite the navel. So, really vital point between the kidneys, you're tapping the navel and the door of life. Wow. Okay? Really good for getting the, uh, wow. the energy. Between that and the perineum, so, those are the two most, most vital points on the body for energy. The, the door of life, yeah. called Ming Men in Chinese, yeah. means door of destiny. So real quick, I'm going to show you guys the six healing sounds. That's the second fundamental practice in the Taoist yoga. There's one healing sound per uh, major organ, five major organs. So stand back in horse stance. Okay. Feet slightly more than shoulder width apart. And horse stance, by the way, you want to be effortless with this pose. And, and, and I recommend every time you stand, like throughout your life, this is how you stand. Because you get energy from the structure, okay? Mm. And um, one thing that'll help you with this, feel like your, your bubbling spring point, the point just from, I know I'm going over a lot of information by the way. Right here, it's basically the equivalent of your hand chakra and your foot, okay? It's the first point on your kidney meridian. Whoa. That point right there on your foot. So when you stand like this, feel like energy spiraling out, like the roots of this tree spiraling into the ground, okay? And just really root into that point, okay? And you'll be able to breathe through that point and get all kinds of energy. That's why the Taoists meditate in a chair so that, that point's on the ground, the most grounded point in Chinese medicine. Put your hands on your lungs. Six healing sounds. We always begin with the lungs in the Montauk Chia system. White light, okay? You're going to take a deep breath, inhale white light into your lungs, and hold and gently tap your lungs. And then we're going to exhale the S sound. Release any tension in your lungs. Good. Cover your lungs like this. Either physically touch or just energetically. Again, white light into your lungs. Hold for a moment. Feel yourself absorbing the white light, the metal element in the lungs. And release any tension in your lungs with the S sound. One more time, deep breath, white light. Feel your lungs absorbing that energy. Smiling to the lungs, breathing white light into the lungs. And any tension like black smoke coming out of your mouth with a healing sound. Good. So the organs go in the same uh, cycle as the seasons. Lungs would be the fall. After fall is winter, kidneys, water. 
So lean forward and gently tap your kidneys. Take a deep breath, blue light, it's water, okay? Water element, blue light in the kidneys. Deep breath. And hold for just a moment and we're gonna release any tension on our kidneys with a CHU sound. So keep tapping, breathe, blue light deeply into the kidneys and hold. Any tension in your kidneys and your water element, which is basically your whole body, release. Good, then stand back up and just cover your kidneys like this, either physically or just energetically. Just cover them. And again, one more time, blue light into the kidneys. And hold just a moment, feel yourself assimilating, balanced, blue, water energy. You release any tension, like black smoke out of your mouth. Straight down to the pull of gravity where it can be safely transformed. I love my kidneys. Which rules all sexual energy, by the way. If you don't have happy kidneys, you no sex. Period. So after winter is uh, spring, which is liver, wood element. So put your hands over your liver, biggest internal organ. It's on your right side. It goes all the way across here. Wow. Governs so much, man. If your liver's not happy, we're not happy. A lot of emotional stuff. Breathe green light into the liver. Deep breath. And hold and gently tap your liver. And by the way, you can tap with your fists, your, your palms, or gently if you're sore or something, your fingertips, okay? Exactly. And, and release with an SH sound. Any tension in our liver in our liver. Deep breath again, green light. Hold, absorbing that is the wood element, okay? So it's like you're breathing in the green light from this tree. Release any tension. And just cover your liver. One more time. Green light into your liver. Hold. Feel it absorb. Assimilate. Any tension in your liver, smile to it. Relax. Let it go with a healing sound. Spring in the liver, fire element, heart, okay? Red light, fire. So breathe the red light into your heart, deep breath. And tap your heart and your sternum. And release any tension in the heart with the H A W sound. And the excess heat, too much fire, right? Release it down to the earth. One more deep breath and hold. Any tension, any excess heat. Any impatience, release, relax, let go. Good, then just cover your heart. One more effortless belly breath, red light into the heart. Smile to your heart, release any tension like black smoke. Good. Now just take a deep, relaxed, effortless belly breath. We've got one more organ, but just to relax in this position, just breathe deeply. your heart rate slow down, let your thought rate slow down. Present moment awareness each breath and the space in between each breath. She flows where the mind goes. Keep the mind present. After summer comes Indian summer. Okay, spleen is right here. Caddy cornered from the liver. This is all medical, dude. Most yoga is the chakras only, which is great, but they're very subtle. You might not know about chakras, but you know you have organs. Yeah. So that's what we're starting there. We're going to get to chakras, okay? <clears throat> organs first. So yellow light, earth element. Breathe deeply, yellow light into your spleen. And hold and gently tap. The H-O sound. So earth element, we, to, we to, uh, what do you call it? Till the earth with a ho. So it's a ho sound. Again, breathing like energy straight up from the earth. The yellow light. Deep breath. Hold, the earth is a giant chi ball. You're just breathing that energy into your spleen and release any tension. And then just cover your spleen, love your spleen, breathe deeply, yellow light into your spleen. Any tension in your spleen, relax and let it go. You guys are awesome. Now rub a little bit, just big circle, and walk like this, home walking, left and right. You don't want to stand in one place for too long, especially when you're learning. <laughs> Stay effortless. Effortlessness, man. That's the true mark of any master. Effortlessness. All right. We have one more healing sound. We did five. The triple warmer sound is a he sound. Okay. H-E. So for 
purposes of alchemy, it's a little different in Chinese medicine, we, we're going to become sitting very, very soon. Uh, we're going to use our head, heart, and belly, okay? So square up your horse stance one more time, bend your knees, feel your bubbling spring, you're rooted, your tailbone's tucked in, your tongue to the roof of the mouth, so your brain's connected to your body, and gently tap your third eye. They do a lot of this in EFT, all this acu tapping business. And again, smile to the center of your brain, accept and appreciate your thoughts as you tap, okay? And then let one hand continue to tap the third eye, the other hand taps your heart. So now all your thoughts, you're emptying down to your heart. Just dro literally dropping your thoughts down to your heart. And smile into your heart, left and right eye, accept and appreciate your feelings. So when we say heart, mind, and Taoism, it's the energy in your heart and in your brain, your thoughts and your feelings. So when I say bring your heart, mind to your belly, all your feelings, all your thoughts, you drop to your belly. So go ahead and tap your belly. And just relax body, relax breath. Totally effortless. The more you relax, the more energy you can receive. And feel your heart mind in your belly. Literally think your thoughts from your belly. Feel your feelings from your belly. We have the same type of neurological cells in our belly. In our, you've heard the term gut brain, right? You have a brain right here. Yeah. And it takes, it's, you want to charge that up. All your feelings, all your thoughts drop to your belly, accept and appreciate your body. What we're going to do is, to finish our six healing sounds practice, we're going to breathe into our belly, our heart, and our head simultaneously. So like we breathe into each organ, feel your belly and your heart and your head like one organ, you're breathing in the energy, clear liquid light, with circle breathing, famous Tai Chi form, where you inhale, hands raise up, breathe into your belly, your heart, and your head. And any tension in your head, heart, and belly, drop it down to the earth with a he sound. Drop it down. And again, stable earth energy raising up to your belly, your heart, and your head. Relax and let go of any tension in your head, heart, and belly, any negative thinking, any negative feelings, any tension in your body. Relax it down. One more time. Effortless belly breath. Stable earth energy rises. Relax and let go with the he sound. And then simply cover your belly and notice how you feel. We call it yin stage. It means recept yin means receptive. Yang means active. So now we did all this action, now how do you feel? If you don't take that moment to receive the benefits of your effort, we don't really digest. It's not you are what you eat, it's are what you are what you digest. That's why we gotta wake up <laughs> this center seriously, man. It's all this food there, you eat it, eat it, eat it, but it goes right out, it doesn't matter. You gotta relax into the experience and absorb the energy. Now one last thing I wanna show you guys, you're walking place again, and you can even comb down. If you get too much cheese from showing you, kinda of comb it down. Um, I was just in the East Coast for a month learning from all this really high level American Taoists and from China and stuff. Um, and I learned some Buddhist incense Qigong which I love because it's a nice mix of the energetics of Qigong with some isometrics for our muscles. So I'm just going to show you a couple of those and then we'll sit in. Is everyone doing okay? This is yeah. like overkill. It's a lot of material, just so you know. Most people you'd get like just maybe a little inner smile, but I'm putting on the video, you can go back later, you know. I just think it's important to get the download, so thank you for moving nice. at the speed of consciousness. <laughs> so each um, of the Buddhist incense Qigong opens with the opening of Tai Chi, okay? It's called Heaven and Earth. So you draw the earth energy up as the hands come up like this. And then heavenly energy comes down as you drop it down. Let's just do that a couple times. Earth energy rises up through your, your feet. Heavenly energy beams down through your head. Heaven and earth is just code. Earth is form. Heaven is formless. Body is form. Thoughts are formless. So it's like the stable energy of your body rising up. Subtle of, subtlety of our thoughts and our feelings beaming down. Okay? So this is just a simple form you can do by itself. Heaven and earth. Earth energy rises up. Heaven star fire beams down. And then you do a circle breath. And you come up on the balls of your foot and push your hands together. We call this an isometric. When you press together and you get that muscle tension there, and then you exhale and you sink down on your feet and you bring your hands to your heart. So each of these Buddhist incense Qigong, there's 14 of them. I'm not gonna, we'll just do a couple, but they all open with that. Heaven and earth and then the circle breath, okay? So let's just do that in sequence and I'll go right into the first one. Golden dragon shakes his tail, it's gnarly form, okay? Heaven and earth. 
effortless body, effortless breath. Earth energy rises, heavenly energy beams down. Up on the balls of our feet as we go into circle breath. Press your palms together. And then exhale and sink down so your weight is over K1. So you feel your weight on K1. Golden Dragon shakes his tail. You're making a figure eight. You kind of keep a gentle pressure, maybe 30% of your muscle force on your palms, and you make a figure eight with your hands. So you're gonna start off slow, and we're gonna gently and slowly get bigger and bigger. So I have this tension on my arms, and I'm, and I'm holding that tension, which gives me the muscle workout that I want, but not as high impact as weights, and much more full range of motion than weights. And I slowly, basically just going left and right, but it's a subtle figure eight. And the more you slow it down, the more of the weight-bearing effect you get on your bones and your ligaments, okay? And you slowly just make it wider and wider. It's literally like you're a swordsman. You're just like slicing through our negative thinking. And you just like really feel it and just get, you know, totally into the form. And keep your eyes open, keep your eyes closed, whatever you feel. But just really just relax your body, relax your breath, except for the slight tension we're exerting with the form. Golden dragon shakes his tail. And, and when you move to, move from your feet. So feel the power rising up from your feet, up through your bones. So like the whole earth is behind each movement. Because if we're really rooted to the earth, she gives us her power. Okay, and you can get bigger and bigger, and like really big if you want to, like really exaggerate it, okay? Yeah, and you can go a little faster, just play with it. Golden dragon shakes his tail. So Come that golden dragon. Nice. And remember, everything I'm showing you as fast as I'm going is a whole thing by itself. So if any of this resonates with you, start practicing it every day. It'd be better to do five minutes of just alternate nostril breathing or whatever you feel than a whole superset once a year, okay? <laughs> so try to establish a daily practice, especially in these times of the universe is always moving fast, but especially now. Yeah. This is like earth changes in our face. You gotta have some practice so you can change with those, you know, with that skillfully. And then come back to the middle. Good. Shake off any tension. We're gonna do a couple more real easy ones. Just make sure you stay loose. Uh, let's take a deep breath and hunch our shoulders. Let's all let's tell a sigh. Ah. Oh. sitting in a few minutes and, and totally go into the relaxation mode. Yeah. I want to show you one or two more incense qigong. You up for it? Yeah. Um, the second one, Jade Phoenix nods her head. It's beautiful. <laughs> Don't you love these names? Beautiful. Yeah. You, you totally get yeah. the, the vibe they were going for. Yeah. The same thing, it opens, so square off in your horse stance. Sounds like my favorite sake. <laughs> right? So it's for you. This yeah, is your this cosmic is, male. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead and heaven and earth to open. Stable earth energy rises. Allow your thoughts and your feelings to beam down. Up on the balls of your feet, feel K1 rooted in the earth, that little isometric there. And then now we're gonna exhale the heart sound. We incorporate the heart sound with this form. Jade Phoenix nods her head. I'm just gonna go to the side so you can see. So you inhale, your hands raise back up. And then like you're diving off a diving board, you're gonna go down one third as you exhale the heart sound. And down one third. You inhale back up again and all the way back, arch your spine. Exhale down two thirds now with the heart sound. Inhale up again, arch back, get that nice opening in your spine. Exhale down all the way, but not physically touching the ground with your hand. Good, and then we're gonna just do that one a few more times. Inhale up, and exhale the heart sound, releasing any excess heat. Show it your own face and go fast. Uh, fasten your feel. When you come up, you can bend your knees a little bit. See how bending my knees? As I come up, you get this fluid. This gets our cerebral spinal fluid moving. So keep your hands together so you get the pressure. You still want the isometric. Your palms are pressing together. Inhaling the heart sound. Inhaling and rising up. Exhale the heart sound and just hang forward. And again, not physically touching the ground. And allow the weight of your head and your arms to stretch out your spine. Okay? 
Oh, relax any tension down, especially hanging forward. Good, any low back tension. Get those kidneys happy. Tension free. Now this is technically where the fo this form ends, and then you just come standing up. But the people who taught it to me, they go into a little frog pose because it's really nice. Just come sink sinking oh, down cool. if you can. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So nice, especially after that, it kind of uh -huh. relaxes the legs. And it's really good grounding because your sacrum governs your whole bones, and your bones are the most dense part of your body. I mean, our bones are crystals, know that. And uh, so you can breathe up, feel the earth energy like a giant golden chi ball. I mean, the earth is a vast, so much energy. All you gotta do is connect with it, and she'll offer it to you. Breathing the energy through the eight holes of your sacrum, which represent the eight forces of nature, like the Bhagwan. Properly, so yeah, uh, our one of our teachers squats on the toilet. So do I. And and he taught us that method to literally sit yeah. on the seat of the toilet. Like, yeah. Just yeah. be careful. I've fallen into the. Some people you see have the little stools in their bathroom yeah. where it angles their legs up more, but yeah. this is really like this. This is it. Nice. Here. So nature style. This is this is where you should be at for Just to come out of the floor, bring your head down and your butt up. And uh, we're going to go back up all the way, deep breath, arch your spine, and exhale the heart sound, bring your hands to your heart. Nice. Now be honest, does everyone have room for one more? Sure. Okay, last one, then we're going to come I, I sitting. Do. I don't know. Anything, yeah. Everyone okay? This yeah. one's easy. I think you'll like it. Okay? This one's called Damo Rocks the Boat. Okay? And the reason I'm showing you this is because I used to teach Nautilus and all this, I have seen nothing that works your core like this. I was so sore. And I do hardcore like abdominal stuff. And so I'll take it easy on you, but just to show you the form, you can work on it. Okay. So let's settle into our horse stance. Mm -hmm. Feel your energy spiraling through your bubbling spring point, like roots just growing out. Tongue to the roof of your mouth. Draw the stable earth energy up. Subtle star fire comes down. Deep breath, come up on the balls of your feet. And then bring your hands to your heart as you sink back down. And then we're gonna sink all the way down to this, okay? So your fingers are gonna stay right about here. They're not touching, but they're, they're gonna stay in this position. And you're gonna to inhale to the left, keep your head forward to begin. And you exhale to the right. Yeah. And you inhale left and slow it down. Go really slow to begin because then you get the weight bearing. I wanna work the muscles, but I also wanna work the bones, the ligaments. The slower you go, you can feel all those nuances. Inhale left, exhale right. You can inhale either side or whatever, but try to sink your breath to your movement. Yeah, yeah, you can really get a nice range of motion. And we, we begin this by keeping our head straight, but then after you do a few rounds with your head straight, you, you turn your head also. So then you'll actually turn your head, and you can usually get even more torque. So basically you're looking between your fingers the whole time, Lean forward more. So you're leaning forward, then you get a the little more weight on your core. Yeah. Real easy stuff, you know? If you do it, you get it. If you don't do it, you don't get it. That's Master Chia's famous saying. You know, and if, you, if you're in a rush or something, you could go faster, you know, but I think there's a lot more to be gained if you go slow. Oh, yeah. Okay? Oh. Uh -huh. oh. Nice. Good. Now, everyone, come back up standing. Bring your feet together. We're just going to close out this standing set with some circle breath by itself. Just feel your feet on the earth and the uh, energy tap your crown a little bit. Feel all the energy from the sky and the stars beaming down, all the energy from the earth beaming up. And they meet, heaven and earth, in the center of your effortlessly breathing belly. And we're going to take a deep breath, draw the stable earth energy up. And then we're going to draw all the heaven energy down. Just draw it down. Mm. Through all your bones, the earth energy rises up from your feet to your head. And all the star fire from heaven beams from your head down to your feet. This is a great form just by itself, called 
Tai Chi circle breathing. And this one, when your hands come down, like you're combing out any tension, you just release it down like a self reiki, just soothing the energy out. Deep belly breath. You can add a little rectal contraction as you exhale if you want to incorporate some sexual power, which is the most powerful energy uh, in this plane for healing the physical body because that's what the physical body is made from. One reason we all gravitate to it. A couple more times after this belly breath. Gentle rectal contraction if you feel it as you come down. And we'll do one more time, hands all the way into prayer on the final repetition above our head. It's like you're grabbing the energy from the North Star. That's what the sun revolves around, the center of the Milky Way. And then you just exhale and bring it down, the violet light of the North Star beaming down through your head and your heart. And just smile. Smile into your heart is the emperor of the organs. If your heart is happy, all the organs are happy. Just cover your belly and once again collect the energy in the center of your effortlessly breathing belly so we can digest this chi and carry it around with us. Not only our tranquility but our power. We just want to be tranquil, we just want to be powerful and one bowl. Spinning ball method of the microcosmic orbits in the Wudong Monastery in China. Very, very old lineage. And you want to feel in your belly, you feel this pearl that we collected. So let's just feel that to begin. Mm -hmm. Smile to the center of your effortlessly breathing belly and simply collect your energy there. Anything you feel right now, drop it to that pearl. Anything you're thinking right now, drop it to that pearl. All the energy in your body, all the energy in your heart mind, allow this pearl to be a vessel for that energy. So it's in one place, it's concentrated, and we can deal with it. And engage it. Okay? Keep the tongue under through your mouth, keep your body and breath relaxed. Okay? So the first thing we do with the spinning ball method of the microcosmic orbit is we send out a guide thread or a guide to just to reinforce our awareness of the orbit. So from the nucleus of this pearl in the center of your effortlessly breathing belly. Out of your navel, you're going to send a clear liquid light guide thread, like an umbilical cord. Out of your navel, down your perineum, and you're just going to let it wrap over your spine, and then down over your crown, back to where you started it in your navel. So you're just sending out a thread, like one of these wires, clear liquid light thread out of your navel, down your perineum, then up your spine, over to your crown, and down the front of your body, back to your navel. So you've just reinforced the meridians that are already there, but again, she flows where the mind goes, it gets more chi, more awareness. Just reinforce it, just sending out this clear liquid light guide thread. Okay? Tongue through the mouth, so the clean switch between front and back channel. Okay? And now what we're going to do is just to build up a little chi for this meditation, which I'm going to do very, very quickly but you can practice it, it later on your own, is I want you to exhale all the way through your mouth. And we're going to do a little gentle breath of fire, just very slowly, very gently. In each breath, I want you to breathe from this pearl. So just like this. Good. And keep going as I talk. Each breath from the pearl in your belly, like you're stoking a hot coal, like this is a coal. So each breath, more energy, more chi. You're feeling it, each one. We're not going to do this for long. Maybe 15 more seconds. You just want to build up your awareness of your energy in this pearl, okay? And exhale all the way through your mouth. And directly into the pearl, deep breath and hold. Tighten your, your butt and tuck in your neck. Hold the energy in the pearl. Feel it compressing, compressing, compressing. All the energy in your body, all the energy in your heart when compress into that pearl. And then exhale and relax and allow the pearl to begin spinning. Down the front and up the back. Just right here. So you just exhale, the pearl begins spinning. And that's it. Just breathe effortlessly. Be effortless in your body. Be effortless in your thoughts. And just feel and the nucleus of your effortlessly breathing belly, a spiraling pearl. As if you roll this pearl down a hill, 
It would spiral down the front and up the back. And you're just feeling that. And what that's doing is, again, Dantian means cauldron. It's mixing the chi and the cauldron that we've already condensed there so much just in this short practice today. And you're just letting it mix. Okay? Down the front and up the back. Now that's a great way to do the orbit. You just keep smiling into the nucleus of the pearl, keep emptying yourself, all your thoughts, all your feelings into the nucleus of the pearl. And as it spirals here, it naturally will overflow into the orbit. That's usually how they teach it. They make you do it for years until you feel it. But I'm going to give you the big enchilada of actually taking the pearl through the orbit, okay? So keep your body and your belly breath relaxed and effortless. Feel the pearl spiraling in the nucleus of your effortlessly breathing belly. And we're going to bring the pearl slowly down to our perineum. Let the pearl just spiral down to your perineum and spiral there for a moment so that the pearl is half inside the body, half outside. Half of it is below touching the earth, the other half is inside. And what that's doing is it's mixing the chi between your earth, or the earth and your, yeah, your earth, your body. So your personal experience of the earth, which is your body, and the greater earth, the pearl is mixing right there on your perineum. Half inside the body, half outside. So if you ever get not ungrounded, you can spiral the pearl right at your perineum and get grounded. Okay? Keep your eyes and your mind dropped to the nucleus of the spiraling pearl. Around that still point, pearl spirals. And then from the perineum, we're slowly going to let it spiral up the back channel, the fire channel, slowly. Up the tailbone, just slowly spiraling. And again, it's half inside the body, half out. So the pearl is inside my spine, but also half outside. So it's mixing the blood and the chi. It's mixing the energy in my aura with the physical jing of my spine and my body. So feel the pearl half inside, half out, slowly spiraling up the tailbone and the sacrum. And just spiral the sacrum for a moment. Just feel it there. That governs our whole bones. The bones is where our red and white blood cells are made. You want to have a strong immune system, you got to have a strong skeleton. You can also hold higher and higher energy. What does a crystal do? It stores energy. So if your bones are happy and healthy, you can store higher frequencies. <clears throat> and spiral up the sacrum. And then slowly let the pearl spiral up to your Ming Men, point on your spine opposite mm -hmm. your navel. And the nucleus of the pearl, by the way, is spiraling on this clear liquid light guide thread mm -hmm. that we sent out. That's why we do it. It's like a highway that the pearl spirals along. I know at first this stuff is very intellectual, but the more you bring your awareness to it, chi flows where the mind goes. It's, it's, it's very thought based right now. But the more you feel the weight mm -hmm. of the pearl, the more substance you give it, the more it affects your physical body and your energy field. You just feel it spiraling at your Ming Men, mixing the blood and the Qi, letting all that Qi penetrate into your kidneys. And slowly from the Ming Men, you're going to let it spiral up each vertebrae by vertebrae. The only contraindication with this method, which means the only thing we don't do, is spiral directly at the heart. It's too much electromagnetism for the heart. So as we spiral up past the back of the heart, we don't stop. Let it go up to the point C7, the point behind your throat. Let it spiral there just a moment. Have an open throat for clear communication. And from C7, up each of your cervical vertebrae in your neck, slowly to the point, the occiput, where your head meets your neck. That's the, uh, basically the reptilian brain that governs all the autonomic nervous system functions. So you spiral the pearl there, let your heart rate slow down, let your thought rate, let your muscles relax. You're just spiraling the pearl in the orbit. The more awareness you bring to it, the more it will affect you in a positive way. This is what a Chinese doctor does. They use a needle to bring chi to these points. Well, this is the needle of our awareness, which is actually more powerful. Consciousness moves faster than light. Mm. Mm. And slowly from your occiput, you're going to bring it up to your crown, okay? So let it spiral right on your crown. Again, half inside, half out. So half of it is inside your brain, half of it is touching the heavens. So if you need grounding, you do it with the perineum. You need more chi, you do it at the head. You do it right here. 
and you feel all that star fire, you're just spiraling it in to your brain. Okay? Effortless body, effortless breath as the pearl spirals around the orbit. And from the crown, we're slowly going to bring it down the front to the third eye. So the pearl is spinning half inside the brain, half outside. This is the command center for all of our senses. So as the pearl spirals there, feel your left and right eye equal and balanced in the nucleus of that pearl. All the information coming from your left and right ear, including my voice, equal and balanced in the nucleus of that pearl. All your left and right thinking from your left and right hemisphere of your brain. Your breathing from your left and right nostril. All your senses. The command center is the third eye. So if you need to clear your senses, you can spot all the pearl right there. Dissolve the chi. Make it usable. Positive or negative doesn't matter. We just want the chi. Accept and appreciate your senses. Keep your tongue to the roof of the mouth, and from the third eye, the energy is going to spiral down to your throat. Let it spiral there and out to your throat very briefly, real good for immunity. Your thyroid gland right there. You should say glands, there's two of them. And then again, down through the heart. We don't stop at the heart, through the heart, letting any negative feelings dissolve as the pearl passes through. Let it stop at your solar plexus for a moment, right above your navel. Let it dissolve anything that prevents you from manifesting your willpower. Because this plane, above all else, is about free will. And how we use it skillfully. And then from the solar plexus, let it spiral down, all the way down past your navel, past your sex center, down to the perineum again. Now we're going to go a little bit quickly and just show you how to do this rapid fire. Inhale, and let the pearl spiral all the way up your spine to your crown. Mixing the blood and the chi all the way up each vertebrae. And then as you exhale, let it spiral from your crown down the front of your body, mixing the blood and the chi through all your endocrine glands. As it spirals up the spine, it mixes the chi and all the chakras. Those are the energetic components of the centers. As it spirals down the front, it mixes the blood and the chi in the glands, which are the biochemical counterparts of the chakras. So you're simply inhaling the pearl up the spine, mixing the chi in the chakras, exhaling the pearl down the front of the body, mixing the chi in the glands. Seven chakras, seven endocrine glands. And just feel that for a few rounds. And you may not even need the breath. You might be able to just do it with your awareness, but if you need the breath, you can do that. Inhale up the spine, exhale down the front. Pearl half inside the body, half out. Mixing the blood and the chi. Okay. Now, I'd like everyone to lay down just for a moment, if you're comfortable doing that. I'm going to stay sitting up just so you can hear me, but I really want you all to go effortless. And cover your belly with your hands. And just continue to breathe effortlessly from your, be from your belly. And continue to spiral the pearl to the orbit. And use your breath to spiral it, inhaling up the spine, exhaling down the front. Or you can just relax your breath and let the pearl spiral at whatever speed it wants to. It's appropriate for you at this moment as directed by your higher self, your inner sage. And one final detail before we go totally into yin stage meditation. Keep your eyes and your mind dropped to the nucleus of the spiraling pearl as it moves through the orbit. Perfect balance of stillness within movement. Stillness only is weak, movement only is restless. We want both. Eyes in your mind connected to the nucleus of the spiraling pearl at the still point of the eye of the storm. Pearl spirals along the orbit. If you notice any tension along any point, you might let it spiral there for a moment. Dissolve that tension. Utilize the chi. Relax and let it go. And then just for a few moments, 
Allow the pearl to spiral completely by itself. Relax your breath, relax your body. Just let the pearl spiral at any speed it wants to, as directed by your higher self. Relax. Thoughts come knocking as they invariably will. Drop into the nucleus of the pearl. Relax and look up. Just do a little conclusion here. Go ahead and cover your belly once again. And wherever you are in the orbit, let it spiral one more time. One complete revolution. It spirals down the front and up the back. Allow the pearl to come to your crown. After that complete revolution, come to your crown. Spiral there just a moment. And what we're going to do is, to conclude this, we're going to bring it down the core channel. So the fire channel is up the back, water channel is down the front, but the core channel is midway between them. That's the earth, the stable center. Straight from your perineum to the, to the crown. Not the front, not the back, the center. So allow the pearl to spiral with the crown, and we're going to bring it straight down the central channel. It's called Chiang Mai in Chinese medicine. Spiral straight from your crown down into the center of your brain, dissolving any residual thoughts that are there at this moment. Coming part of the pearl, and reinforcing its energy that it holds. Continuing to spiral down through your throat, down through your heart, dissolving any residual feelings that are there at this present moment. And down into the center of your effortlessly breathing belly, at which point we're going to spiral the pearl so fast it appears still. And into the nucleus of the spiraling pearl, I want you to reabsorb the clear liquid light guiding thread like you're slurping a piece of spaghetti through your navel. Reabsorbing that energy. Reinforcing your awareness of the nucleus of the pearl. And allow that pearl to spiral so fast, faster than sound, faster than light. The speed of consciousness itself. So that the pearl appears and feels still in the nucleus of our effortlessly breathing belly. And into that nucleus we collect our energy once again. We always conclude meditations that deal with energy by collecting energy there so we can digest it. So anything you feel right now on any level, drop it to your belly and hit save. And at your leisure, I'd like you to please slowly come up sitting for a little, little concluding uh, measure. And then bring your hands into prayer pose. The most auspicious time to wish is at the conclusion of yoga, because all of your energy is in one place. Bring your eyes, your mind, your heart to the nucleus of the pearl in the center of your effortlessly breathing belly. 
by the power of my personal center and the universal center and all beings from all directions and all dimensions able and willing to assist in this process. The highest embodiment of wellness and good fortune for myself, all humanity, and all sentient beings. I think, I feel, I am. And with that intention, let us breathe and tone into the new, and any other intention you have on behalf of all sentient beings, besides the highest wellness and good fortune. Let us embody it with the sound I am to conclude. Inhale from the nucleus of your belly, tone from the nucleus of your belly, I am. The highest embodiment of wellness and good fortune. I think, I feel, I am. Gratitude and appreciation for your receptivity to practice today. Beautiful.